Uh, certainly, Keegan uh, brings his, uh, Keegan, John, Judy, I think everyone brings their personality to life in this. You guys were given a lot of freedom to uh, redefine characters, mold mm -hmm, and shape, mm -hmm, and yeah. add your own personal touch. But I think, um, I think a better way to describe this is, rather than a kid's movie, a family movie. And that's why like, some people are surprised, like, wow, there's some stuff for adults in there, too. That was in there. Like, that's in there in the scope of this is not just something that parents have to sit down and be like, oh, man, here we go again. This is something where families can sit down yeah. and be like, ha, 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 and then the, the kids laugh at the poop gags and the adults laugh at the, the funny, subtle humor. And there is something for, for everybody in there. Yeah, that's well said. I think that there's a, there's a good deal of... Uh a good deal of, of, of winking for the adults, you know, and also it's a, it's a, it's enough of a, a fish out of water situation that you go as an adult, hopefully you're resonating going, Oh my gosh, I hope I would never be in that situation. Or I'm really good at my job and not really good at X or whatever the case may be. It's pretty universal. Yeah. It's interesting. It's very, it's very, we did, we didn't spend a lot of time together prior. And I know that John and I had had been circling each other and really wanted to figure out a way to work with each other. It also had... And I've worked with Legs before. And that's right, you and Legs have worked together. Yep. There is a sense, I forgot about that, for, uh, uh, but there was a wonderful, almost familial sitcom sense of it. We shot almost every day on the same soundstage. Yeah. So it was as if we were doing a sitcom in the smoke jumper depot. So kind of every day you, you clocked in, there's your, and it, it, it almost instantly had it that buddy, great. like we were on the fifth yeah. season yeah. Of, of Playing With, with Fire. fire yeah. You know what I mean? Welcome yeah. to the, the fifth season premiere, Playing With Fire. Yeah. John Cena, beetle it dudes you. Can't get my little kid. <laughs> right? I mean, so it felt very routine in the most positive way. Yeah. Uh, of my physical appearance, people just, I mean, we're, we were judging all the time, no yeah. matter what. Visual, yeah. And you can't, there are some things you just can't ignore. And when you show up at 250 pounds and people are like, I'm going to get my butt kicked, I don't fight. I'm not tough. I just, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a teddy bear on the inside. So I actually embrace chances to bring that to life. And being able to do something like this in a movie like this, which can make an impression on a family as they laugh, that's also another cool thing, you know? My favorite is the bunk bed scene where you come up on the bunk bed and then when you go back down, you're just gone. Did you sit at the premiere you were sitting behind me? Did you just hear that guy? Gone. He's just gone. Somebody just went, someone just went, there was a man you could hear who just went, he's just gone. He's just gone. <laughs> he's just gone. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's what happened. The joke kind of got we, bigger we, and bigger. Yeah. In fact, we, we were in a, uh, in a writing session where we were exploring new ideas for the movie. And uh, we were sitting with the producer. It was the producer, Todd Garner, and the director, Andy Fickman, who were kind of going, no, no, this is, let's get, who says we can't get that ridiculous? Who says we can't get that broad, that we have a character who can jump through the, the space-time continuum? Yeah. And, and, and people seem to enjoy it. People yeah. seem to go, hey, we know what this movie is. I thought it was cool because when, you, when we watched it in the theater, like, the first time, it was, it was almost like when Legs does the quotes. The first time they're like, huh? And then by the third quote, and the third time you enter frame, yeah. it's just a setup for yeah. an awesome payoff. So like by the by the bunk bed scene, which is oh like the gosh, eighth yeah. time. The eighth time you're just like, what is, it can't get any more ridiculous. Oh my God, he just disappeared, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 It, a lot of it, I would say a lot of it was Andy. Yeah. And I mean, he and we, I think Andy and I certainly are of a like mind. So I, it wasn't anything I had to try to convince him of. But it was, and then I remember like about day two or day three into the set, as you could see takes breathing and getting longer, eventually Andy and Todd were just like, all right, so we have to build an extra 20 to 25 minutes a day for Legs and Keegan. Yep. <laughs> and then we found moments. There are lots. The, the movie's replete with improvisational moments. And some of them are those little off-camera voices that you're hearing. Yep. It, it was, you, you get to get a remnant of the fun yep. that was happening. Yeah. So it's, it's awesome, but d difficult, because I'm watching these two well-trained uh, improvisational performers, and you get caught up. It's like going to a WWE event, and you're watching it, like, and you s scoot to the edge of your seat. But I'm watching these guys, and trying, I forget I'm in the movie. Like, you guys would go off and do your bit. And, but I, I, if there's gold in there, I ruin it by forgetting I'm in the movie. So yeah. you, you, you just stand there at attention, and, and let them do all this. And, 
it was uh, it was awesome to see, but I, I wish I could be sitting where Andy was or oh, where Todd God. was because then you can actually just watch it. But it was it was it was an awesome fun experience. It's interesting, yeah. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. And today oh, yeah. is a great reference when Finley was asked what her favorite part of the movie was. Her answer was simply pooping in the woods with John Cena. So like moments like that happened all the time where you just look and be like, <coughs> there you go. Right? Yeah, there's no, there was no way to know. I mean, her parents didn't know she was going to say that. Yeah. Nobody knew she was going to say that. And there are times on set where Andy would say, and now Finley do this or Finley laugh. And then you just start breaking up because you weren't expecting it to sound that way. Or you weren't expecting to do it that when long. she's or... rattling off all the artists oh, that she so wants played. And like Wu Tang Clan, Post Malone, Wu Pump, Post Malone, <laughs> like she's just so adorable, and it's it was it was incredible. It really was like it it was a good, it was good. Dude, so much equipment. I can tell that like I have the imagination of a kid, but I'm an adult. Right. Because <laughs> right. I was like, oh yeah, you now my, my back is killing me. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's all the lumbar. I'm having lumbar issues. How does somebody even sit in this I'm thing? Like, like, it's got to weigh like 180 pounds. <laughs> and 60 pounds. Can, or 60. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just, so, like, it's so, just like hauling all this equipment. I, uh, it's weird. Moments like that, uh, you already have so much respect for people that put themselves in harm's way to save others. But moments like that when you're like, whoa, they're... They are carrying another 60 it's pounds. pounds right, they as do. they jump out of a low altitude like, I'm, plane. I'm wanting to complain because it, I don't have no place to sit. Right, right. <laughs> because the outfit is so wide. Where's my tea? Yeah, but right, like, right, right. You, you, you get a great, uh, it's a great shot Appreciation, of perspective. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Judy is a, also another great improviser. Amazing. A really fantastic improviser. But, and she's really good because she's, again, a, a, a trained actor. And she doesn't, she doesn't, She's brilliant and improvised lovely, lovely things inside the parameters. She's very surgical with the way that she improvises. John and I can sometimes get off the primrose path a little bit, but Judy stays right there and she's just exquisite. Exquisite. She was fantastic. I couldn't think of a better person to play uh, Soup's romantic interest. She really, like, I think everyone on set, and I said this a bunch and I, I just believe it, like we, we all knew the movie we were making. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone did their best to play their part and make a good family movie. I, gu I guess the best way to sum it up is that I'd like to do it again. I would certainly like to work with Keegan that's, again. You know what? That's, that's a very succinct and accurate way of putting it. Yeah. I hope, I'd I like hope, to do it again. I hope it happens We've again. talked about it. We, we, we sit and sit and go, hey, wait, wait, wait. Try to figure out another project. Yep. And, and it's, a, it's a good sign when you have two actors discussing what could the next project be before you're even finished with this project. Yeah.